You cheated on your man with this dude who's just a dude disguised as another dude, like Tropic Thunder. So you cheated on him with the dude disguised as another dude, and then had your baby daddy or your man. I'm going to just call him your baby daddy, your boyfriend. We're just going to call him your baby daddy because that's what you lied and told him he was till he had the kid, then found out it wasn't the kid his. Now you're trying to act like my man was a deadbeat, but you're a cheater. So you really don't even know who the nigga is. How about you know of his family? Stop lying. You thought we weren't going to figure that out? How long y'all been dating for? Uh, um, over a year. You just had your baby a year ago. Mm -hmm. I met him when I was pregnant. No, you didn't. You, you didn't. No, you didn't. You already knew him. So, so, okay. How many months? Were you like nine months pregnant when you met your current boyfriend? No, she wasn't even. She was like a couple weeks and then they fucked and then he thought it was his. No, I had. No, I had met him before I got pregnant. See? She lied. See, she just lied right then and there. We don't got to even say nothing else. I'm a Hi. You ready, boo? Yeah. <coughs> you with a bonnet on your head? No, I'm about to take it off. Okay. I went from bed laying down. Where are you calling me from? Uh, Columbus, Ohio. For what time is it there? Uh, eight. Where you at? Oh, she in, she in L.A. That's me. So early. Um, I'm just chilling. Okay. What's your name, Bo? Felicia. Felicia, where are you calling me from? Columbus. She, she just, just said that. Ding back. Columbus, Ohio. You have any kids? Two. How old are your two kids? Seven and one. Okay. How old are you? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. So your two kids have the same dad? No. Why are you not with the one year old dad? Um, we was we was never together. We was just cool. Y'all co co parent well? No. She yeah. already got a new nigga. Wait a minute. Did she say this? This shit. The thing says she got a boyfriend. So she already got a new nigga anyway. Kenji gonna find out. I haven't seen the baby since I had her. Why not? Because obviously they they she don't know the baby daddy. She the new nigga treats the baby like his. I don't know. He chose not to be there. So, but you but according to you, he was never really there. No. Are you gonna get? Are you? Is he helping you out financially? No. Well, we need to hear the other side of the story. Nope. 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 I was just on IG, and I seen a video. It was a boy. It was a young little teen boy with his kid and he said the mama kicked him out he was crying later he was crying mom kicked me out she was didn't give me the and people's in the comments like i need to hear the other side of the story the woman just don't kick out her son for no reason i need to hear so when i hear about the deadbeat from now on i need to hear the other side of the story we ain't letting shit go by because when it's a deadbeat mom then nobody want to say shit and just, you need to hear the other side of the story so I don't want to hear that he just didn't didn't see the kid. He didn't want to be involved. Nope, nope, nope. We need to hear the other side of the story. Fuck that. We keep the same energy today. <clears throat> Do you know his family? Nope. No, same energy. I don't. So like, I know other family. You need to hear the other side of the story. Before we call him a deadbeat. Nope. Other side. Or you just, just accepted it? Yeah, other side of the story. I just accepted it. It is what it is. I'll take care of her. I you get the side of the story from him. It ain't is what it is. We want to hear from him. So, so your whole pregnancy, he wasn't there. Nope. Other side of the story. Oh wow! You know, here's the deal. It's not right, right? It's not right. But unfortunately, y'all didn't have no foundation laid. No. So it's like I don't think. Other side of the story. I think, listen, if you lay down with a woman and you create a child, you should man up and raise your child. And I feel strong with that. Like, you know, you shouldn't. We all know how babies are created now. I feel strong about it, too. But I need to hear the other side of the story today. Today and today only. I want to hear the other side of the story all day long. But the unfortunate thing is, like you said, as a woman, you got to you have to be more. These people out in the comments, but go ahead. I'm sorry. I was 
You ain't about to cuss out nothing. We about to hear your baby daddy other side of the story. I'm straight. As a woman, they always say, daddy's, what is it? Daddy's maybe. Mama's baby. I forget the. Daddy's baby. Maybe. Yeah, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. You want to hear the other story about why it's a maybe from him. And because whether it be right or wrong, like, you know, you have to bring the baby in the world. You have to raise your child. So with that being said, you should be very wise who you lay and have a baby with. I need to hear another side of the story. Matter of fact, I don't even need to hear another side of the story. I'm about to make my own other side of the story. First of all, she got a new nigga already. So the, the old baby daddy, she told the new nigga that it was his kid. Now, she found out after the fact that it wasn't his kid. They was on Maury. I'm making up my own story. They was on Maury. Basically, not Maury, but y'all know what I'm saying. They was on Maury, and the new nigga... Thought it was his kid, but found out it wasn't his kid. But then he just, he's one of them niggas that was like, I raised her this long, so I'm just going to raise her like my kid. But the new nigga thought it was his kid. You was cheating. That's why you was cheating. The new nigga was been your man. But the baby daddy, you cheated on your man. This is the story. I'm making the other side of the story. You cheated on your man with this dude who's just a dude disguised as another dude, like Tropic Thunder. So. You cheated on him with the dude disguised as another dude and then had your baby daddy or your man. I'm going to just call him your baby daddy, your boyfriend. We just going to call him your baby daddy because that's what you lied and told him he was till he had the kid. Then found out it wasn't the kid his. Now you're trying to act like my man was a deadbeat, but you're a cheater. So you really don't even know who the nigga is. How about you know of his family? Stop lying. You thought we weren't going to figure that out? <laughs> I did. Or like you, it seems like you just are going to, you're womaning up to the circumstances. Yeah. The cheating. It is what it is. I did it. You cheated. So I You mean, cheated. You did it. We know you did it. We figured it out. You cheated. Mm-hmm. That's what you did. That's what you did. So, okay. You say you got to cut somebody out in the comment section? Yeah. I, I, I forgot what they said, to be honest. Okay. It's going so fast. Ain't bipolar. Ain't you bipolar. And you, you see, you reactive. You dumb and reactive. You want to cut somebody out, but you forgot what they said. Not me. If I want to cut your ass out, I'm going to remember what you said five minutes ago. Like, oh, yeah, no. That was up in the comments talking about I da 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 I done went off right then. Give me my moment to cut your ass out. But she forgot. That's because she's dumb and reactive. She just want to cuss anything else she see. She going to find another comment to cuss out. But I really, I'm really here for an update sort of kind of. You was here before? No, my I met this guy on here a long time ago, um, about a year ago when I was pregnant, honestly. So you met a guy while you was pregnant? Mm-hmm. Okay. And he became my best friend. His name was Darnell. I think he was a highlight. But long story short, he died. And I've oh. been trying to tell yes, he he was planning on coming to see me. We was real cool. I met his family via, you know, video chat. And the he dude that was on this show? He was um, helping his child's mother with the house, and the house caught on fire. And he went in, and I guess the like the smoke, he yeah, went to the hospital and died in the hospital. Wow. Oh, he was on my show? Mm -hmm. His name was Darnell. Oh, God. I, I can't remember offhand. I have we got to find it. You said he was a highlight. We want to find it now. Damn, that's crazy. I go back and research. You know when he was on my show? <sighs> it was like a year ago i was pregnant it was a long time ago it wasn't that long ago you only got a one-year-old but um yeah he was on here we became really close we became friends and when i've had the baby like i didn't speak to him and his sister reached out to me and told me like he was gone and i'm like what do you mean and she told me he died wow mm. that's horrible i'm so sorry to hear that's fucked up. That information. Uh -huh. oh. So let me ask you this. Are you looking for someone or are you just calling to tell me that? Uh, I'm a woman, not a man. It's going on. <laughs> you want a woman. Oh, yeah, we already knew that. You threw us off with the with the try to the sympathy. You try to play the sympathy card. We ain't forgot about your baby daddy and your cheating ways. We we feel for the family made their or their rest in peace, but back to you. You want a woman? Like in 2008. When did you go tell Kendra you got a boyfriend? But you got, you just had a baby a year ago. I'm bisexual. 
sexual. So now you only want to focus on women? Well, I, I have a boyfriend, but we want to add a woman to our relationship. Oh, you got a fire <laughs> vagina. Fire. How you know? Only fire vagina gets away with things like this. Yeah, because she cheated. You're right, Kendra. I just had to figure out how you knew. You're right, though. I just wanted to know how you knew. I wasn't questioning how you know that, Kendra. You're right. Because the nigga, remember the story, Kendra. Remember the story. Stay stay with me. She cheated on this dude. She's lying. So she, she never told you yet. She cheated on this dude. She's not going to tell you. She cheated on this dude and said that the baby daddy was the baby daddy, but he's the baby daddy. When she cheated with the dude disguised as another dude. And he stayed with her. So you got to have fire cat to do that. And now she's asking for another girl, and he's okay with that. Well, of course he's okay with that, but it's part of her having fire coochie. You're right. So you have a book I, I, right I, now? I don't know. I don't ask myself, so. So you had a baby a year ago, so you already have a new man. Mm -hmm. Is he like a father figure to your child? Yep. And Duh, because he thought it was his. She's not going to tell you that part, but I'm telling you. We figured it out. She thought He thought it was his, so of course he's a father figure. And now. Now look, and now you're looking for a woman to add into that relationship? Yeah. Thank God there's people watching my show. And this is what he's asking for. He's trying to get the woman because you cheated and you ain't shit. So at least he like, fuck it. At least we could add another woman in to make me feel better about myself that I done stayed with you after you cheated with a dude disguised as another dude. Live. Because if I had to tell this story, <laughs> someone, they wouldn't believe me. They would say would. that you're lying. No oh. woman called you who said she had a baby a year ago that, and the baby daddy never met the baby. He want a catfish? No, he want a catfish. Wait, what happened? Somebody gonna say, am I sure he wasn't a catfish? Well, he could have been. Oh, did you, did no. you ever, did y'all FaceTime each other? Yes, like he didn't call AAA for my old car. I done met his mother, his kids. So you haven't met a person before? No. How do you nope. meet his mother? You didn't meet him. On FaceTime, because he was at her house, and I, that's how I met her. And she was a truck driver. Okay. Well, may he rest in peace. I'm really sorry to hear that piece of story. All right. So, Felicia, you got a lot, girl. What do you do for a living? I'm an independent service provider what? for. Um, yeah. uh, man, what the hell is that? Uh, 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 girls who sell coochies are independent service providers. What are you talking about, streetwalkers? Women with OFs are independent service providers. Can you be a little bit more specific, please? Um, I basically sit with people with disabilities, help them with their daily. Okay, okay, okay. Say it, say it. Make it, make it clear for me, because independent service provider, motherfucker. Die. A lot of services to be provided independently. Activities, you know. But if they need it's an independent money. service provider. She like a she, she like a home health. Okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. How do like they reach out to you? Huh? How do they contact you? Like, I go to conventions and I get clients. What kind of conventions? Kendra, you... Never mind. Do your thing. People with disability conventions. Like, they, oh. if they're looking for a service provider, they come to these conventions and they'll meet, you know, new service providers. Or okay, companies. I've been a service provider. All right. Mine two. Have you ever been married? No. And no. what's your zodiac sign? Uh, Read out the comments and focus on the question. Uh, Sagittarius. So we got Sag Felicia, 29, Sagittarius, Columbus, Ohio. Mine two kids, seven and one years old, by two men. Um, she's an independent service provider. She has a boyfriend. Somebody's she's currently looking for a girl to add into her relationship. So are you in a poly relationship or someone that y'all have sex with? Are you, can you still see me? Yeah. Yeah, we can see you. Okay, Polly. Okay, what kind of woman are you looking for to add into your relationship? Um, somebody open-minded, kind, caring, honest. That's about it. What you, and it's so crazy that we that I pulled this video up. Now that I think about it, because now we get to ask the bisexual women and the lesbian women. Is this the piss? <laughs> you got women 
trying to date women that really be dating men and want this type of shit that's messy and with kids and all this different shit that you may not even want. And this is part of y'all's dating options. So even the lesbian women, this is the piss right here. They in y'all way. She can't be. She can't be fat though. I know that's not mean, but I don't, I don't want to be fat in my face. No. Now, can she be with her boyfriend without you? Sure. Kendra, why? What you making that face for? Yes. I don't. I don't know what kind of spirit with women like. I can never do that <laughs> ever. That's why you ain't got no nigga. The hell, hell no. But okay, so I mean, not like, not like you gotta have a dick. I ain't mad at it, but that's why you ain't got no nigga, Kendra. She could, she could go out with your man. They can have one on one time, sex dates, and it wouldn't bother you any. It's her man too. It's a poly relationship. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, okay. Stop being selfish, Kendra. It's her man too. If they with that, then that's what it is. So stop thinking like regular, normal one on one. No. It's her man, too. Hey. Why wouldn't she be able to go out on a date with her man? Um, what are your deal breakers? Um, being super fat, lazy, don't work, um, a lot of kids, mean, rude, and talk too much, because I don't like people that talk too much. I don't she got the best deal breakers I've ever heard. We about to run her deal breakers back. She just went. She just went in on the on the on the humble. These are her deal breakers. We run them back. Um, what are your deal breakers? Um, being super fat, lazy, don't work. Um, a lot of kids, mean, rude, and talk too much. Cause I don't like people that talk too much. I don't want to talk that much. Okay, so she look a certain way. You already said a lot of times she can't be fat. Yeah, there's a lot of, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I'm on the thicker side. We both can't be. Uh, what you just asked me though? No, no, I said, does she have to look a certain way? Um, no. Okay. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? No. No? Mm -mm. Okay. But you don't care about how many? Um, all right, let's do the Kendra cam, Felicia. Okay. Ooh. How many tattoos do you have, girl? Look like you have a body. A lot. Everywhere. Sort of, kind of. Okay. Um, okay, Felicia, thick. Cornbread fed body. Yeah, she got a nice body. That's why I want no thick. I don't want no big girl. I'm already. Yeah, she's already. She's thick enough for both of y'all. Uh, what was your last relationship? I'm in one. That's right. Duh. I mean, she got a man. Looking for a girl, Kendra. I mean, shit. That's shit. Kendra, we ain't mad at you for going through your regular questions. She Wait, not uh, supposed to be called a single show in, in a relationship. So, of course, you went through your line of questions. We ain't mad at you. And you a little dingy, so we give you all type of grace. You slow, too. Uh, um. So... <clears throat> I asked this question, but you're in a relationship. But the question is, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Like, I guess this morning. Yeah. See, Kendra, why would you even still ask? See, now I can't give you no grace. See, now you're a dummy because he's in a relationship. So why would you even ask that question? So he's fucking somebody. See what I'm saying, Kendra? You got to know how to You gotta know how to think on the fly. You didn't have to still ask that question. It was implied. She's fucking with a nigga like, what are you talking about? Morning. You live with your man? Mm -hmm. Is he aware that you were gonna call me? No. Is he at the house? He's at work. So is he in agreement to this? No, nah, he gonna get pissed off, Kendra. He gonna be like, Kendra, when he sees this show, he gonna be like, How dare you try to get us another chick to fuck? Hell no. Nah. No, I ain't with it. I'm straight. Delete the video. Delete IG. Cut your messenger off. He gonna be pissed, Kendra. <laughs> Fuck you think. 
Hell yeah, he in agreements with it. You sound crazy as hell. What man you know? What men do you know? Huh? You know any men? Would they be in a disagreement with it? Of course he's in agreement with it. Yeah, Mike, he knows that. Come on. Right. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Get this kid off the screen. He knows. He don't know. This little boy doesn't know. Who is he? Get him off the camera. Get the baby. Hi, baby. Ain't no hi, baby. Bye, baby. Get your little ass somewhere. Grown folks business. Go away. She just woke up. Aww. Oh, it's a little girl. My bad. So what? Go away, little girl. We'd be a little nicer to you. See, that's it's fucked up how double standards it is. It was a boy I was being mean to him. Now it's a little girl. I'm going to be a little nicer to her while I tell her to get your little badass out of here. Little baby girl, we're going to be nicer, but you still have to go. Go away. Y'all don't be talking about my, my daughter's hair. Because I'm talking about her being in the room. We ain't about to roast her or roast her hair or nothing. Go away. Why are you here? Grown folks talking. I'm going to cut you the fuck out. We gotta talk no, we ain't about to roast no kids, but we are about to tell kids get the hell out of grown folks. Bennett. Talk about your baby, so maybe I, it's up to you. Ain't nobody about to roast you. Know, people on the internet ain't nice. It's a cute, she's a cute baby, though. Get but, her off the camera. But they're really going to talk about the fact that you have a baby while you're on the show. Like, it's okay. To, it's okay? It's not okay. It's not okay that you can't tell your child that I'm doing something. Go and get a, go get some milk. Go get a juice. Go get this. I'll be in there a second. Go away. Yeah, I don't care. I care. So they're going to say that the conversation we're having is too grown for her baby ears. No, nah, she's, she's, no, nah, no. Nah. She don't care. She don't even know how to talk. She don't right. understand what we're talking about. She understand what we're talking about, though. That's what you don't know. Her brain processing everything. You can't underestimate the brain. You don't really know what's going on in her mind. She can hear. If you say a bunch of words that you're not supposed to be saying, them is words that she processing that's going to be out come some of her first words. If all you do is cuss, some of the first words going to be fuck, fuck, shit, bitch. So don't act like the brain just is nothing. She processing something. But she need to hear me saying, go in the room and go get some milk. You need some milk. Go in the other room, mama talking on the phone. It's grown folks' business. Well, I think we passed this juicy question. Um, three flaws you have to work on. First of all, he ain't in a relationship seeking another woman. We're in a relationship, and I'm seeking another woman. He's just fine with it. But my flaws is... Um... First of all, if he was in a relationship seeking another woman, and the other woman okay with it, why is it your business in the comment section? Now I'm with her. But get your daughter out the camera. Um, my attitude... Um, we know you was ready to cut somebody out and then forgot what they said a minute later. I can be nasty sometimes. You can be nasty sometimes. That's why you ain't want no rude, mean ass woman. You want to be the only rude, mean ass woman. All right, cool. And I'm very impatient. And why? Um. Why would it got you raising a little kid that's gonna want to get her way too? Get her out of the screen and tell her she can't have her way. Get out the screen. Well, excuse me, you have a guy. I gotta get it together. So she has a boyfriend, sir. She's looking for a girlfriend to add to a relationship. Why would this woman be lucky to be with you guys? She needs to babysit. Um, we're kind. We're um. You just say you could be mean. Now you're saying y'all kind. Which one is it? Get it together. Go get your daughter some milk. We'll, we'll, we'll wait while you go get her a bottle and get her out of the camera. Word. Like we like to share. So. We know it's a live show, but we'll wait. Uh, we're not stingy. Uh, we have a good time. Like, I feel like we have a vibe. You're a vibe. You're a vibe. Felicia, all right. Um, Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? No, not yet. Okay, you got to download it and put a picture of you and your man together. There are people like this. Without the kids. On the app. And, hello? Got your daughter slapping the phone down. Did she leave? 
There oh, you go. Her daughter slapped the phone. We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, sorry. So, um, what's your boyfriend's name? That's Why? Why? Why does that matter, Kendra? Seriously. Why? Why does that even matter? Antonio. So it's on my neck. Uh, huh? I said it's on my neck. Oh, she tatted him. How long y'all been dating for? Uh, um, over a year. Lord, did I say? Y'all, y'all, y'all better give me my flock. I be saying this shit like, like it's a joke sometimes, but I really be knowing what I'm talking about. So when we added the other side of the story with the with the shit, what did I say? I said she was cheating. The kids won. They've been dating for over a year, and she got him tatted on her. And she cheated with the baby. Everything I said as a joke was true. She cheated with the the, 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 the the dude disguised as another dude. She cheated, got pregnant. He thought it was his. She stayed. He did Maury show, basically, and said, I, I've known her like mine. I'm just going to raise her. Da, 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 da. And then her, um, not punishment, but her try to cover it up for doing all that is getting him tatted and now him trying to get the poly trying to get him another girl so now she's doing everything to try to be the perfect girl i'm gonna get you tatted i'm gonna get another girl i'm gonna do all that because i cheated and got pregnant with another nigga's baby and you stayed with me yep so i was right the whole time the other side of the story that we needed we got and it was true kendra kendra not gonna put that together but we did already before she even told us. So, yep. Mm -hmm. You just had your baby a year ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, obviously, she did put it together because the baby, but she ain't put it all together. She ain't put the part about her her cheating together. When I was pregnant, I'm gonna rewind it. I'm gonna rewind it. What did she just say? I said it's on my neck. How long y'all been dating for? Uh, um, over a year. You just had your baby a year ago. Mm -hmm. I met him when I was pregnant. No, you didn't. You, you didn't. No, you didn't. You already knew him. You met a lot of men while you was pregnant. You met Darnell. Oh, I met Dar Dar Darnell. Was, I was just meeting him because he said he was looking for a friend. So, so, okay. How many months? Were you like nine months pregnant when you met your current boyfriend? No, she wasn't even. She was like a couple weeks and then they fucked and then he thought it was his. No, I had. No, I had met him before I got pregnant. See, she lied. See, she just lied right then and there. We don't got to even say nothing else. I'm a genius. This is one of the best shows. I, I, this needs to get clipped up and studied. Because I was playing around when I said that shit. Kind of. I was actually joking. I made up a whole story because I just wanted another side of the story. And what I made up literally was the full truth. This shit is crazy. <laughs> this episode right here is crazy. <laughs> okay, where's your? Do you have your baby's name on your body? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Now I don't know what if it's gonna work question? out. Maybe work out forever. But why would you put a man that you only been dating for a year name tattoo on your neck? I just told you why. She trying to make up for the fact that she cheated with the dude disguised as another dude got pregnant by him, and then this nigga Antonio stayed with her. So she did the tat to cover up her actions, Kendra. It's like a cover-up tat, but there was nothing there before. Her sins are there. So she was trying to cover it up with, oh, I'm going to get you tatted. I love you. Oh, you're mine forever. I'm never going to cheat again. Because he stayed. She's not going to tell you this. But I'm telling you this, Kendra. I promise. I'm right. I feel like if we, he got my name, and if we don't work out, I'll just cover it. See? See see how quick she said cover? Because it's a cover of her bullshit. So that's why she's thinking about a cover. Because it already was a cover of her bullshit. Where's your name at on his body? Why does it matter? Kendra, for real. Seriously, why does that question matter? We trying to find them a girlfriend in a poly relationship. Now you asking about his name, her name. Why? On his leg. 
Yeah, but his name is Mika High. Yours is right in front of everybody's face. Why does it matter? True. Why does that matter, Kendra? Kendra, who hurt you? Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, well, let's get Why it. Why is this little girl still in the camera? I almost forgot that she was still there. You making me comfortable with your bullshit. Go get her some milk and make her leave. Where was she at I mean, before? Well, I'm trying to think, what could he do? Because you already don't care if he sleeps with other women. Yeah. If he, like, what could, what could he do for us to break up? Nothing. Yeah. I mean, he could do something. If he was dishonest with me or. Yeah. If he was, what? If he was dishonest, that's the only thing. <clears throat> So if you got another girl pregnant, you'll be fine with that. No, I don't think I'd be cool with him getting another one pregnant. Unless this is something that we discussed, like we want to get our partner pregnant. But if it was like a random girl he was sleeping with. But what if no. the girl that you're adding into your relationship got pregnant by Then that'd be okay. But if it was just like a random, I would be mad. Okay. All right. Well, his name care. is what again? Antonio. So maybe. Make a profile of for the two of you because okay. you've been looking for a woman and make your face. This is the option on that. Um, you'll be you guys will be looking for women and call it Felicia and Antonio. But make it your first name where it says first name because mm -hmm. that's how people can search you. Felicia. Yeah, you gotta make it. Yeah, you gotta put the profile with him because women gotta want him. So you gotta put your your man on there so women can want him. They already want you. Nice body. Well, they might not want you because kids well they don't care about kids some of them don't even care about the kids but you need to get her off camera so you already good you straight they want to they, they'll fuck with you but they got to see your man they won't fuck with him or not and, and so you might not like your man okay just because you like them don't mean they'll like them all right and if yeah if you're the girl who wants to join their situation <laughs> um once she creates her profile reach out to her Okay, baby girl. Okay, bye. Bye, baby. Kendra, why you just let her lie to you, dog? She said that she didn't meet her when she was pregnant. I mean, she said she didn't meet him when she was pregnant. She said she met him when she was pregnant. Then she said she met him before she was pregnant. You should have grilled her about that to get further into what I had already said in the story about her being a cheating ass liar. <laughs> 